celebrating victory. Hundreds filled Baku's streets after hearing the war had ended. After six weeks of fighting, a ceasefire has been agreed to. Today is a historic day for our country. Today, the Armenian-Azerbaijani Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is coming to an end. I think that the recently signed tripartite statement will be the last point in resolving the issue. The truce was brokered by Russia and signed by the warring parties. But it's Azerbaijan that gets the most out of this deal. Baku will hold on to any territories recaptured in occupied Karabakh. And according to President Aliyev, his military has retaken 300 settlements from the region. Turkish and Russian soldiers will be deployed to monitor the ceasefire. Turkey anlaşmanın uygulanmasını gözetmek ve denetlemek üzere bölgede kurulacak ortak barış gücünde Rusya ile birlikte yer alacaktır. But fury from the other side. Protesters attack the parliament building in Armenia's capital, Yerevan. They say agreeing to the truce is a betrayal. And some demanded the resignation of Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Overwhelmed by Azerbaijan's military, Pashinyan says he was left with few options. In the existing situation, there was no chance of making another decision. I plan to go into more details over why and what was the reason behind the last month's events. I can't do it right now for one simple reason, because stopping military actions is the main process right now, and if I say something, I can endanger people. The peace deal was signed shortly after Azerbaijan took control of Shusha, the second largest city in Karabakh. Armenia's leadership was worried that if the war continued, the whole of the territory could have been lost. The latest outbreak of fighting is part of a decades-old conflict, and it all centers on the occupied region of Nagorno-Karabakh. The area falls within Azerbaijan's borders, but most of the people living there are ethnically Armenian. War broke out in 1988, after separatists tried to seize the region. Following a ceasefire in 1994, Karabakh was left under Armenian control. And now the latest ceasefire. But seeing how past agreements to stop the fighting have failed, will this be enough to prevent another war? Haider Abbasi, Straight Talk.